Hello everyone <clears throat> and welcome to the live session today. Uh, we have a very interesting topic today. Um, so before we start, I would like to give you a little bit of uh, idea about our camps. Uh, well, this week, that is from 22nd to 25th of Feb, we are in Bangalore. Uh, this is the first camp that we are doing in Bangalore and we have had a very good response. Thank you so much for the response. And uh, in case you have still not joined us or you have not taken your appointment, uh, the number for our appointment is 8006738000. Today, the topic that I'm going to talk about is... What are the top 10 reasons that you should visit a chiropractor? Okay, uh, Because a lot of people have this confusion, uh, when to visit a chiropractor, what are the conditions, is the chiropractor really helpful in a certain, certain condition or does it really work in this particular case. So I'm going to give you top 10 reasons why you should visit a chiropractor. So thank you, thank you so much for joining in. We have a lot of uh, members who have joined in and yes, the subscription is open during this live session. Hindi nahi aati, Hindi aati hai Shubham Singh, uh, but abhi main language ko mix nahi karna chata. So, all those who are looking for subscription, they can join the subscription during this live session. Uh, it is open for all of you to join the subscription. Namaskar, Namaskar, Namma Bangaluru. A lot of people from Bangalore have joined in for the live, of, live session. So, thank you, thank you so much for joining in. So, today let's talk about the top 10 reasons why you should visit a chiropractor or uh, you can also put in your questions and by the end of the session i'll be answering your questions too uh, but at this point of time when i'm when i'm when i'm talking talking about the topic i will not uh, answer any of your questions so please do put in your type in your questions so that you know once i'm done with the session uh, i will answer all your questions so uh, basically uh, i'm sure you all know that chiropractor visits are all is happening anyways for hi Jayan, we are from Doda Balapur. Hi, hi, thank you, thank you. Uh, so, anyways, we know that you guys go to chiropractor for neck pain, back pain, joint pain, all of these things. So, this is definitely mandatory. This is definitely something that we are anyways doing. But what are the other benefits? What are the other benefits that you can actually get through a chiropractor session? So, the first benefit is basically the improvement in the quality of sleep. All the patients that come to me uh, after a follow-up, like after the first session, when they see me for the second session, maybe in a span of one week, sometimes even two weeks, the first thing that they tell me is after your session, the way we have slept, we haven't slept like this for a very long time. So that is, that is the, you know, uh, response that I get after doing a chiropractor session so and why does that happen because chiropractic session relaxes your body completely it actually induces your good hormones it it aligns you in such a way that your quality of sleep improves drastically and sleep is one of the most important physiological components when it comes to dealing with human health if you are not sleeping right then there is definitely something wrong or there is something which is you know causing your health to go bad so uh, when you can actually experience a good sleep and this is also helpful in the last session also i had spoken about health problems mental health problems wherein you know i had also discussed about anxiety insomnia and all these things so all the people who are suffering from anxiety insomnia you know uh, improvement in quality of sleep the first thing that they fear is sleep so uh, First thing is, first advantage that you see is improvement in the quality of sleep. Second thing uh, as an advantage, what you see after attending a chiropractor session is uh, uh, improvement in your immune system. So basically uh, your immune system is important to fight fight all the infections around, fight inflammation. And uh, if, your, if your body is aligned right, if you have the right sort of hormone release, if you, if you have the right sort of endo, endotoxins release and if you have the right sort of chemical balances which are released, you will see that your body responses faster to any infection, to any bacterial infection, to any inflammation also. And chiropractic sessions also helps to improve your immunity. So that is the second factor which you see, you know, which helps you when you're doing a chiropractic session. Third thing that you would see is essentially there is no need for medicine. 
most of the medicines that you normally have for joint pain or neck pain are modified painkillers so they basically are not treating your problem what they are doing is they are allowing you to forget your pain to some extent which could be for 4 hours 8 hours or maybe even 12 hours and after that you again have to pop a pill long term effects of medicines can also be kidney and liver damage okay uh, short term effects can also be indigestion issues with your uh, problems and all these things so uh, basically ye sab all of these things it can actually lead to uh, uh, you know uh, distressed life or issues health conditions over a period of time so we normally don't recommend that you know painkillers should be just popped in easily so when you don't have a need for medicines when you are doing chiropractic therapy that really helps in a big way especially um, you will see a lot of athletic uh, people you know they they also love to do chiropractic sessions because it is natural it doesn't show up as drugs on your body at the same time you heal in a natural way so you know it, it gives you it gives you a much better response if you have to look at it uh the fourth thing that you would see is it, it reduces your fatigue and stress to a great extent obviously if you're sleeping well if you are having the right sort of sleep when you get up in the morning you feel fresh your fatigueness is reduced drastically your stress levels go down drastically so uh, uh, this is the this is one of the most important things that helps when you do a chiropractic session it helps to reduce and re- lessens your fatigue and also helps you to reduce your stress then we talk about uh, a lot of people uh, have neck neck pain and besides that Uh, they also get headache and migraine and headache and migraine has never been uh, we never have a clear diagnosis about it none of the no doctors will be able to pinpoint and tell you that this is the reason for headache and migraines but i have seen a lot of patients who have come to me with neck and migraines they have got really better the episodes of migraine if they had about 2 to 3 episodes or 4 to 5 episodes in a month that has reduced to about one episode even if they have done one session of chiropractic that's because when you align your neck muscles when you align your uh, neck musculature as well as the cervical spine that reduces a lot of pressure helps you in order to release your headache or even in a long term release your migraine so headache and migraine is the fifth most important point that helps when you undergo a chiropractic session so sixth point what i would tell, like to tell you is that after a session i see a lot of lot of my patients sitting straight standing straight there is a immense change in their posture and it is not uh, because i tell them to correct their posture it happens on its own they feel like sitting straight they feel like standing straight the postural muscles actually start getting into action which we have normally lost over a period of time so uh, doing a chiropractic session also helps you to improve your posture the moment you do a chiropractic session you will you will sit tall you will stand tall you will have a better gait you will be able to walk in a better manner a lot of people have uh, rotations they try to walk with the foot on the outer side and you know it also leads to a lot of hip uh, musculature tightness i mean uh, internal rotators for the hip they get tighten up because of which you know you can see some changes in their gait but after a chiropractic session all of this is taken care of so that also makes a lot of difference seventh point what i would like to talk about is during pregnancy a lot of females suffer back pain they also suffer from a lot of neck pain and headaches and all these kind of things doing chiropractic sessions in certain months of the overall uh, pregnancy period in certain months is very very helpful i had a patient who was consistently following up with me and we were doing those sessions only in certain months of her overall pregnancy period and she was completely off medicine during that time obviously she cannot take up a lot of medicine and she just has to uh, you know bear that pain but because of chiropractic session which was done in a very uh, appropriate manner it was done in such a way that there are no issues whether she is turning whether she is moving around it was done in a very in, in the very right way because of which she had some amazing results and she even followed up after her delivery and she was like during the whole pregnancy period she has much, she had much lesser episodes of migraine neck pain and back pain so yes it also helps in pregnancy and there are certain exercises that are also shown um, you know that also helps to you know improve on your labor during your labor time then also talking about uh, athletic performances so like i told you a lot of times uh, athletes cannot directly take medicines if they have issues which are related to back pain or neck pain 
or heel pain, knee pain, all of these problems. So uh, they cannot directly take up any kind of medicines. So uh, the only solution left is something which has to be natural, which doesn't show as a spike in their uh, steroid level or any spike in their drug level. So the only option left is chiropractic therapy. And the moment they get into these chiropractic therapy, they actually see a better performance in their overall athletic, uh, you know, whatever sort of activity they are doing. So yes, doing a chiropractic session for uh, for athletic performance is also widely seen in a lot of developed countries it's not very common in india as of now but we also uh, train a group of runners and uh, uh, whenever we do these kind of chiropractic session with runners they actually feel a lot more better with all their problems or even uh, even the complaints that have been there during running in fact a lot of runners do come to me uh, with some of the other issues and the moment they see uh, changes happening in their running form or even with their constant pain uh, they wonder that why couldn't they do this therapy earlier so that's what uh, chiropractic therapy is also all about at improving the athletic performances uh, besides this you will also see that uh, a lot of times whenever we undergo uh, a small accident or a, a blunt injury or a car accident all we look at is open injuries we see where is the bleeding we see where is the where are the open areas or open wounds and we only treat that okay but there are lot, there is a lot of some, something called impact injuries which you may not be able to see immediately but you will end up seeing after uh, after let's say five days ten days sometimes even a month because these these uh, symptoms start gradually and the time they take to you know kind of show up in a very uh, strong way would be probably even after uh, a month or so and that's where you realize that you know you started getting back pain or your neck pain has increased and all of these things so these are basically injuries that ha happen due to high impact which is also called whiplash injuries whiplash injuries are basically which uh, creates a lot of impact on your neck and because of this you can actually notice or feel a lot of pain sometimes whiplash injuries can also result in uh, cervical fractures but even if it if if it is a if it is a light injury it will obviously impact on your neck it will obviously increase your neck pain so doing chiropractic treatment for accidents or trying to do these sort of therapy whenever you undergo even if a, even if it is a motorbike accident or a car accident you don't realize a lot of areas which probably might have been involved and uh, over a period of time, once you come to know, you don't understand what can be done at this point of time. So doing a chiropractic therapy definitely helps in this whole process. And last, that is uh, the final point why you should see a chiropractor or top 10 reasons uh, why you should see a chiropractor is it decreases your visits to the hospital. Everyone is scared about going to a hospital because they don't know if once they go to a hospital, what is it exactly? What is it going to happen and how many days it is going to take and what sort of therapy they have to get into. They have to do, a lot of people are scared about MRI. A lot of people are scared about the investigative procedures. So uh, basically chiropractic therapy also helps you to prevent your visits to the hospital. If you have back, back pain, if you have neck pain and all of these issues, it can be taken care of just by doing a chiropractic session. So these are the 10 most important reasons why you should uh, see a chiropractor and the advantages that it makes to your body in terms of physiological processes, in terms of where all, where all it acts in your body. So I think it's a very, very important thing. And I hope the next time you visit, next time you want to visit a chiropractor, there should be no confusion. And definitely make sure you share this video with everyone who would like to know more about chiropractors or who would like to know the kind of work they do or how this work affects in a physiological manner on your own body or on the patient's body. So I think this will be a good uh, uh, brief for them and uh, probably based on this, they can, they can definitely take a decision. So I'm just going back to my questions now. I will see in case you have any questions, you can definitely put in uh, your questions in the comment section and I will answer all your questions. So Priyanka Ban has a question. My teenager son has started complaining of frequent headaches, shoulder and neck pain. Is chiropractic session safe for him so uh, he's a teenager so i assume that uh, his age should be around 12 to 13 and priyanka this is a very common uh, problem with uh, uh, 
with teenagers uh, growing and you know because their body is growing and if they are not very aware about their posture they tend to have more forward head rounded shoulders and all of these things and yes uh, doing chiropractic therapy definitely helps because it realigns it gives a it gives a certain sort of guidance uh, a sort of way wherein the growth can be done in the right manner and there is no other way wherein you know you can align your spine and make the kid feel better about his posture make the kid realize how what is what is exactly his his height the problem is they don't carry their heights most of the time they would like to sit slouch they would like to stand you know with rounded shoulders and forward head um, a lot has been uh, you know uh, a lot a lot of responsibility here also goes with the kind of school bags they carry or um, sometimes even heavy loads if they carry so that is also one thing that you should it should be taken care one sided uh, back sling should be avoided yes chiropractic session will definitely make a lot of difference uh, is chiropractic session safe for him yes it is absolutely safe and her third question is if i get a spine manipulation once do i have to get it repetitively uh, being a problem so if you if you do a session once i normally ask for a follow up within a week's time or maybe if you are doing a camp i ask them to do uh, one or two more sessions so normally i don't i don't go beyond two or three sessions um uh, in a flow because if it has to work it has to work in two or three session if it is doesn't if it doesn't have to work i it doesn't make sense doing more than three sessions because otherwise maybe we are not we are not putting it in the right way or it is not giving the kind of impact that is required so normally two to three sessions is what is required but having said that a lot of people do come to me for experience a lot of people do come to me to just to experience spinal manipulation and when that happens uh, just one session is also enough i don't even ask them for a follow up as long as i don't see a problem or i see certain areas which needs to be addressed okay so i had some more questions let me just scroll through because i was i was having questions when uh, you know uh, when i started so once again i would like to talk to you about the camp this weekend we are in bangalore 22nd to 25th of uh, february we are in bangalore 29th of february for the first time we are at lower peril we will be doing a session at lower peril 29th of feb and 2nd march Uh, second to ninth of March, second and ninth March, we are in Khar, Bandra, and uh, yes, if you guys want to join us, I have already pinned the number for which you need to take an appointment. The number is eight double six seven eight hundred six seven three eight triple zero. Let me just Nilofar has a question. Ahmedabad, kab tak aana hai? Ahmedabad, I think we are coming to Ahmedabad in March. Uh, March. Yes, fifteen, sixteen, seventeenth. Uh, we are in Ahmedabad. Yeah, fifteen, sixteen, seventeenth. We are in Ahmedabad. I'm just putting the calendar right here so that you know there's no confusion. Yes, we will be in Ahmedabad in fifteen, sixteen on fifteen, sixteen, seventeenth of uh, March. Okay, so Jain, my hand now pains so much. Uh, we can do a little more investigation on that if you have uh, if you have if you have done any kind of investigation is it specifically hand nerves or is it the pain coming from the neck is what you need to understand if it is coming from the neck it is cervical uh, or if it is and if it is a local area we need to understand is it is it local because of a blunt injury or probably even because of some kind of activity which involves in your occupation so we need to understand the reason and based on that we can uh, start some therapy meanwhile you can also visit uh, my youtube page to check all sort of exercises that we have specifically for neck back uh, wrist ankle hip all of these all of these areas so we have specific videos which we are using and uh, you know trying to explain and help patients get these exercises because i strongly recommend uh, use of exercises along with uh the spinal manipulation sessions sessions because i'm not just a chiropractor i'm also a physiotherapist and i believe and i feel that the importance of exercise is really really helpful in order to get right get rid of your inflammation as well as carry a good posture it's shadab khan okay shadab khan has a question i don't have any back problem but mujhe ek bar bones cracking karwana hai how much charge charges have we have already mentioned you can get the dm on that or you can dm to us it's normally 4000 rupees what we charge 
for a session okay so that is the charges that we have and uh, once you once you take up a take up the number or call us for an appointment all the details will be mentioned to you so thank you so much for joining us guys uh, it was it was lovely and i hope you had the most of it uh, in this session with uh, the top 10 reasons to see a chiropractor uh, in case you joined right now make sure that you're following this video and understand the top 10 reasons why you should see a chiropractor and uh, make sure you share it with everyone who may need it thank you